What's up, people? You have found the Kale Report, and I'm Scott Killian. And this week, we're going to look at a personal favorite of mine, the Aftershocks Trex Air headphones. Stay tuned. Welcome back. And while you're here, hit that subscribe button so you can stay in touch with all the different kale reports that I'm rolling out each and every week. As I mentioned earlier, we're talking about the Trex Air Aftershocks. Now, I'm a fan of these. I'll go ahead and tell you up front, it's a KO, two thumbs up. This is my second set. My first pair was a black pair, and honestly, they messed up due to my era. I wanted to go over a few things of this with you and do an unboxing presentation of it. And I'll actually turn them on. I have them uh, pair them up with the phone and let you see how they work. So let's get at it. First of all, I found these originally at a Brookstone at the Haynes Mall in Winston-Salem. Brookstone's no longer in business, but you can still buy them online. You can also find them on Amazon and eBay, I'm sure. And here recently, I've actually seen this image on Facebook with different lettering around it, but it was the same box, same guy on the front, same headphones being um, advertised there. So you can actually get them through Facebook as well if you find that ad. Now, my first pair, I paid $150 for, and trust me, they were worth it. This pair that I picked up now, I got for $119. So they've came down in price, which is great. Let's get right to it. Looking at this, you do have a two-year warranty straight out of the box. You do get a six-hour runtime on these. Now, that's not just standby. That's actual talk or listening to music time. I wear these when I'm hiking, when I'm working solo and, and doing something that I need them with. If I'm going down the road, I take phone calls on these. Uh, it, it's great. And like I said, let's, let's get into the opening here. So... Nice packaging, the way it hangs. It's actually got a magnetic side or stick to it. Yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely a magnet in there. So when you open these up, you can see how they're displayed inside. Undo the packaging and it comes out and they're ultra ultra lightweight very small these are designed to go over your ear and the larger part goes in front of the cartilage there uh, with your ear on each side super lightweight honestly after a first two to three days you won't even realize they're there you'll actually go to lay back in a recliner or something the headrest in your car and be like, what is that then you you feel it move behind you the most annoying thing for me uh wasn't the feel of it being on here but when listening to music the vibration uh there's a slight vibration and tingle here that uh can be an, uh, an annoyance especially if you're listening to music at a louder volume now at a standard volume where you can hear the music fine or hear a phone conversation fine, you can also carry on a conversation with somebody in the room with you. They don't know you're listening to music and you can hear, you can tone out the music and listen to them. These do work by bone induction, by vibrating against the bone here between your cheekbone where it connects to the rest of your skull and your eardrum and inner eardrum kind of go in and that way. So it picks up on it. Now these have, you can see a place there for like speakers in the holes, but if you are wearing these and listening to music, no one can tell unless you have it almost wide open and then they're going to hear something that sounds like insects to where you're going to be jamming out. Once again, very, very high volume with music it does tingle even now and it does distort the sound quality a little bit prior to these i had skull candy 
earplugs and I would put them in and it would silence out most of the sound around me and I really liked that at the time until I was going on one of our walking trails here nearby and bicyclists are on it and they come by you and they, they'll they'll give you a warning hey passing on the left I couldn't hear them until they were right beside me and then I was seeing them as I was hearing them and would startle me I didn't like that so I wanted to find something a little different obviously noise counseling i use my noise counseling i have some bose noise counseling headphones that i use when i'm mowing but i wanted something that i could hear people coming up on me on a bicycle i wanted something that when i'm at work with co-workers and we're doing a project uh if they yell out hey it's lunchtime," i don't have to wait on my stomach to tell me i can cut out and go to lunch with those guys uh other things would be uh working out you can still hear if the kids are calling for you the phone rings a landline phone whatever you can you can hear things around you while still jamming out internally so inside the box does come with a cord so you have a usb to micro usb now here's where i was talking on the other pair my first pair where i made a mistake i was driving down the road i got a low battery warning audible warning in my ear so I took them off, had this plugged into my cigarette lighter adapter and was going to plug these into the headphones, which go into a small flap here. And I put them in backwards. And when I did, I was just kind of I'm trying to line it up while driving down the road. Wasn't a good idea. Put them in backwards. It bent the prongs inside the unit. And obviously that's not a malfunction uh under warranty it's my my fault and i knew it i didn't even try to get them covered under warranty i just like i gotta get another pair so an easy way to remember this if you look at the micro usbs and my eyes are getting terrible but if you look at them you can tell that there is a wide and a narrow the way they're shaped and the best way for me to remember this if i'm plugging them up the wide side goes out so if you're wearing them like so, the wide side of the plug goes out. Think football terms, you got a wide out. Your quarterback's throwing to your wide out or your wide receiver. That's how I've been able to keep from messing these up again. Other things that you get in here with accessories, there is a care manual, a rather thick owner's manual, in several languages and something that is kind of cool that they throw in with it is a set of headphones soft foam earphones uh, to go in as well that way if you are in an area where there is a lot of noise in the background you can put those in and hear it better I do know that when I'm out let's say I'm at a restaurant and I'm getting a phone call coming in I need to take the call when I have them on, I just put one finger in my ear and it changes, it blocks out most of the volume and then the, the voice or the music, whatever from the phone, uh, phone call is like almost dead centered in my head. I can hear it almost in stereo at that point. So with the headphones in, you actually are, you know, amplifying that by two. Show you a few features here. The button on the left side, will turn on your music or answer a phone call if you have once you have it paired to your phone pairing to your phone is simple you turn on your bluetooth settings on your phone press the power button here it'll search it'll find it it'll actually say aftershocks um, click pair and then they're paired together now turning these on you have let's see if i can get the camera to look here you have this was the port for plugging in charge then you have these two buttons. These, if you're looking at them from the side, I'm going to call the front and the back. So the front button is your power button. Press and hold. For a moment, because it said, welcome to Trex Air, you hear a beep, and then it says connected. Now with them connected, those two buttons, one, the same one that was a power button, is a volume up, and the one behind it is a volume down. So you press them multiple times to turn the volume up, volume down. 
Now, this should be coming through the phone now as my microphone. And I don't know from the recording if you can tell the difference or not. I did not have my microphone hooked to the phone for this recording. It was straight microphone from the phone. And now you're gonna be picking it up from here. My feet's wet, it's raining outside. So move my feet and they squeaked. You can also check your battery volume here. If you press the volume down or the back button, it'll give you an audible tone, battery high, battery normal, battery medium, battery low. To me, they're great. I, I love these, they're lightweight. You can sit back and they don't move. You can run, exercise, jumping jacks, eight count bodybuilders, that'd be a military term. Uh, I think a lot of people refer to those now as what, burpees, maybe? Sweat resistant. So if it is raining outside, you can go out. If you're sweating, it's not gonna bother it. If it's raining, I've had them outside raining. I don't know about swimming. Uh, it does say premium pitch stereo sound. They sound great. Unless you're listening to something with a lot of bass, it won't get on your nerves no matter how loud you turn it up. But if it's got some bass to it, uh, you're going to get some vibration. That just seems to go with the territory. Uh, Multi-point pairing, wireless music and calls, six-hour battery. The ones I have are a midnight blue. You can get them in olive green and black. You can get them in red and black. I've seen that on a guy... Uh, a friend of mine actually ran into him and I, we were both wearing them at the same time. And I thought it was kind of neat. We used to work together at Radio Shack, so he's kind of a techie guy too. And then the black on black. Midnight blue, red, olive green, black on black. That's your four options that I've seen and online. So if you've got any questions on this, hit me up in the comments below. We've got this far together. Thank you for viewing and like and subscribe to the KO Report so you can stay up to date with different things that I've got going on and doing reviews on. Thanks for watching, take care.